listening to Jenna Queries on 100.5 FM, CFRO, Vancouver's Competitive Radio. And joining us now is Sylvia Machette, member of Butterfly's Circle. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let us know what Butterfly's Circle is and let us know your pronouns. Yeah. Hi. Uh, great to chat with you today. Very happy to be here. So my name is Sylvia. I'm a member of Butterfly's Circle, which is a rainbow refugee sponsorship circle. We are sponsoring a lesbian refugee to arrive safely in Canada, uh, which is part of a program that Rainbow Refugee runs, which is sponsorship circles that help people arrive safely. Having that kind of support when you arrive is really important. So you do suffer Rainbow Refugee. Can you tell us a little bit about what Rainbow Refugee does and why they're needed? Yeah, Rainbow Refugee is an amazing organization here in Vancouver. They do all kinds of work in support of refugee-related issues, including an inland program here in Canada, helping people out once they arrive in the country, as well as sponsorship circles, which is what I'm involved with. And these are circles of people here in Canada who are fundraising to raise the funds necessary for someone's safe travel and arrival and then first year within Canada. So as folks in Canada know, uh, we have some pretty harsh winters sometimes. In Vancouver, it rains a lot. And getting set up with housing in Vancouver is no easy feat. So that's why we have these fundraisers to help fundraise those funds. Our ultimate stretch goal is to raise $30,000 for our circle. Rainbow Refugee is super important, bringing refugees over here safely. Uh, well, they're not bringing, but they're supporting those folks in getting over here to Canada. And uh, super important because there are 64 countries that have laws that criminalize homosexuality. And there are at least seven countries in the world where homosexuality is punishable with the death penalty. So while I can't say where the refugee that we're involved with is from, the seven countries where homosexuality is punishable with the death penalty include Brunei, Iran, Mauritania, Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, Uganda, and Yemen. And it's good that people are coming here and escaping those countries. So you're holding a fundraising event this weekend. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, absolutely. So we are hosting a clothing sale extravaganza. It's happening at 1033 Davy Street, which is right next door to the Fountainhead Pub. Uh, we are in unit 103, which is a ground level unit. Uh, so the unit as well as the washrooms on that floor are wheelchair accessible. We're having amazing deals, great prices on clothing. Again, uh, with inflation and with cost of living in Canada, everything gets really expensive. So this is a great opportunity for all kinds of people to come get new items to them. Lots of stuff, everything in great condition. We've sorted through it all. We've got $5 t-shirts, shorts, and hats. We've got $10 dressy shirts, skirts, and most pants. And we'll have uh, snacks and drinks, including booze, available at low prices. Booze will be available at $5, which where else are you going to get a deal like that? So you can come hang out, get a little boozy, have some pre-drinks, hang out on Davy Street, and shop, and have a great time with other queers. Yeah, awesome. And if people want to find out more information about this event, is there a good place to go to? Yes, absolutely. So we have a Facebook event page, clothing sale fundraiser for Butterflies Circle. And so the Facebook event, it's clothing sale fundraiser for Butterfly apostrophe S, not Butterflies plural, circle. Correct. Yeah. Thank you for making that <laughs> distinction. Yes. Uh, we also have a an Instagram, which is Freedom Circle. And we also have a Canada Helps page where you can donate directly. So if you're not able to make it to the sale, you can donate directly or read more about Butterfly, who we are supporting. It is canadahelps.org slash en slash pages slash butterfly. So yeah, Canada Helps page will also be able to accept donations if anyone isn't able to make it to the event. There is a time sensitive need for this. Butterfly has already fled their home country and they're in a third country. So not their home country and not Canada. And they can't legally work there. Yeah. Um, so they've already had issues where they've been recently arrested and then released for working illegally. And if there's any additional arrest, then they will be deported back to their home country, which is unsafe for them. So we really want to raise the money as quickly as we can to help them get out of this really difficult situation that they've been stuck in in this third country. Yeah, definitely. 
once again, when's it happening and where and how can people find out more information? So it is happening this Saturday, January 13th, 2024, from 3 to 7 p.m. at Unit 103 in 1033 Davy Street, which is next door to the Fountainhead. Um, and people can come on down, uh, spend some money, have some drinks, hang out with some lovely queer folks and just have a good time and come out and support. Yeah, well, thanks so much. That was Sylvie Machat, member of Butterfly Circle.